Hello Kulas, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We start with Bernardo Silva who have been strongly linked to Barcelona this summer. The midfielder has recently voiced out his own opinion about that rumor. We are going to be discussing on what Bernardo Silva had to comment regarding the rumors linking him to FC Barcelona. Then secondly, we are going to be talking about Captain Sergio Busquets as it has been reported that Barcelona have offered a two-year contract renewal to the veteran. The player has 48 hours to respond to that. We are also going to be looking about that report. So guys, as we get right into those stories, please do ensure to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Also consider liking this video and please watch it right up to the very end. In demand Manchester City superstar Bernardo Silva recently sat down for an interview with ESPN to shed light on his future amid growing speculation over a potential move to FC Barcelona. Although the Portuguese international cited his satisfaction playing for Manchester City, he also left the door open for a move away from the Etihad Stadium as Barca continued to eye for a sensational summer swoop. Silva said, I have always said that I am happy here at City, but I have no idea what is going to happen. The Man City superstar has emerged as the transfer priority for Javi Hernandez, who views him as a missing piece of the jigsaw. Indeed, Javi rates Silva highly for his technical prowess and ability to create chances in the final third. The Barca coach believes the playmaker has what it takes to become the ideal partner for Pedri Gonzalez in the interior midfield position. It seems Bernardo Silva is also open to becoming a part of Xavi's group, as he appeared coy when asked about a potential move away from the Etihad. He said, We will see. Honestly, my relationship with the club is very honest. I've been open with them and they know what I want. If I stay, I'm very happy and I will always respect this club and give all my best, said the Portuguese star. If not, it's football and we'll just see what happens. However, Bernardo Silva doubled down on the fact that he is happy to continue at Manchester City, added, If I stay, I am very happy and I will always respect this club and I will give all my best. If not, it's football and we'll just see what happens. It's a big club and they don't want players who are not happy at the club. They always say to all of us that if you are not happy, you can go. Of course, they are in business and they want the right amount of money for letting us go. As I said, I will always respect my relationship with Manchester City, with the fans, with the staff, with the, my teammates, so whatever happens, happens, and for sure, it will happen in a very, very respectful way. Bernardo Silva has been a part of Man City since uh, 2016, that is five years now. He has been involved in almost 100 goals during his time there, featuring in over 250 matches. His current deal at the ATI expires in 2025, so Barca you know, may have a tough task on their hands in luring the playmaker away from the Etihad. So we can hear from the player himself regarding the rumors that have been making a lot of headlines lately. Bernardo Silva has strongly been linked with Barcelona for more than two months now. Xavi have reportedly liked the player a lot and of course in collaboration with Laporta and the whole Barca board they want to bring him. That is why Barca have been really forcing Frankie de Jong to depart because Frankie de Jong departing FC Barcelona will really ease the way for Bernardo Silva to come. You know, not just sporting wise but financial wise. We know even if uh, Bernardo Silva comes and Frankie de Jong is still there, it's going to bring in a lot of confusion. The midfield is going to be so, so tight. And financially wise, you know, the money that Barcelona will receive from the sale of Frankie de Jong to whatever, whether it's Chelsea or United. That money will go a long way to greatly help Barca to pay for the transfer fees of Bernardo Silva. So the transfer rumor still brings a lot of um, latest on this transfer saga regarding Bernardo Silva to FC Barcelona. Gerard Romero for one have been very very vocal about this. Um, some few days back Gerard Romero claimed that Barca and Man City are currently in um, negotiations to make sure that that deal happens and to the extent of even saying that Barcelona are likely to pay less than 80 million euros for Bernardo, something that we knew he would be at least 80, but that might not be the case. So, if you can look, if you can really understand what Bernardo was saying there, he is not ruling Barcelona out, he's very open to a move. 
but he just tried to clarify that he likes Man City. He, if he stays, he stays, he will still be happy. But he's very open. He has been very open up with FC Barcelona. We have been hearing reports that Xavi have been calling the player, trying to discuss his project, like how he always does with other transfer targets, you know, discuss with the player what he can expect at FC Barcelona, the plan of action for next season and stuff like that. So Bernardo Silva have been communicating with Barcelona for a very long time, but um, no agreement as of yet between Manchester City and FC Barcelona. So let's see how it goes. But um, as I as we have been saying it a lot of time, all this will strongly depend on Frankie de Jong's fate. If Frankie de Jong stays at Barca, then it is unlikely we see Bernardo Silva with a blue and red shirt. But in, if Frankie de Jong succeeds to depart, because we have been getting reports of Frankie very, very much close to Chelsea, if those reports are true, then Bernardo Silva's move to Barca is very, very possible. Then on to the next story of discussion. With less than a week remaining until the 2022-23 La Liga campaign gets underway, FC Barcelona are walking around the clock to free up space in their wage budget and register their new signings. While the club are actively trying to offload fringe players in the team, Another trick would be to convince the existing stars to accept newer deals, preferably with a salary cut. One of the players in contention to do so is Sergio Busquets, as the club had kick-started negotiations with the Barcelona midfielder a few days ago, hoping to turn him down to a new contract. A recent report from Mundo Deportivo has offered an update on the situation, suggesting Barca have already tabled an official bid for Busquets. The new deal includes a two-year contract which essentially means the Spaniard will be able to elongate his current contract, which was supposed to expire in 2023, will now shift to 2024. The terms further include an option to terminate the contract next year, considering the fact that the midfielder has flirted with the idea of leaving Camp Nou and possibly joining MLS, that is a Major League Soccer at the end of next season. However, Busquets must respond to the contract offer very quickly as Barca have only given him a time frame of 48 hours. The player must evaluate his future carefully in these next couple of days and make a decision that suits all parties involved. However, it is likely that the veteran may opt to leave the club next year, thus putting an end to a fruitful spell at the Camp Nou. In the event of Busquets' 2023 departure, it will be equally interesting to see how Barcelona react to the transfer as they are without any viable long-term replacement for the Spanish international right now. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to do so. So you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.